Right, everyone. Welcome to Div Tech 101, aka Black Mantle. We discuss information technology, also known as IT. In today's episode, we are going to be doing some a little bit of soldering here. So, what I'm doing, and the reason why I'm doing this is um, my uh, kid had asked me if I could solder his motor back together. This came out of a little older race car that he had, and he just likes to do science experiments pretty much so that he can just plug it up to a battery, loves hearing the sound, and thought it'd be a cool video to kind of make, at least for somebody out there to watch. So, um, definitely like, listen, subscribe to the channel. So um, what I have, I have two pieces of cable here that he basically pulled off. I'm going to be soldering those two pieces of cable back onto this little motor here. And we used to put these like on little small boats and pretend they were like propellers and stuff like that back in the day. Now I do have on gloves here, even though I don't really need to, but just for the safety of the video, just so I can make sure I'm practicing safety for anybody out there that's looking to do this some of the tools i have basically got some tweezers i have some ends here as well for the soldering iron have a little bit of a, of a suction cup to um, pull up any excess um, lead so you basically push push that down just like that and you go to the edge point as you're soldering and you basically pull it off like that i was supposed to slide aside like that but you know what i'm talking about the lead here this is a little bit of info on there in case you need to get that for your thing and you basically kind of shake it like that to get more of it out or you can actually pull just a little bit and it will extend out just a little bit more got some tweezers as well as a little battery pack that we're going to hook up i normally hook this up inside a little breadboard it has double a batteries on the inside as you can see and on the flip side of it there is a little switch so you can pretty much use these, uh, you know, towards Raspberry Pi projects and things like that. And last but not least, you have the soldering iron as well as the base that I have over here off to the side. This basically fits onto there like this. So that way you do not burn yourself. So uh, got a little small brush here in case I need to use that for anything. So we'll put that there. So let's go ahead and get started into the video, you all. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on, I'm gonna um, actually leave my other glove off so I've got bare hands here. And so the first thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm going to solder this on here appropriately. So my soldering iron is on. Um, you can see the little red light there as well as the temperature gauge of how high you, or hot you want it. And so what I'm going to do is one of the first things is I'm going to figure out, okay, which end do I want to put onto this little bitty motor? Keep in mind, I'm going to be soldering this where you see the bubbled pieces of the old solder that's on there. If I need to add new, I can, but once I put this iron to this, you're going to see this start to melt just a little bit. It's gonna have a little bit of smoke behind it. And once it gets a little bit kind of gooey, then I'm going to actually put the wire on there. Let's go ahead and let's get this started here. I'm going a little bit slow here because I want to make sure I'm not going to spill this onto my desk here. So let's do these little tweezers. I 
turn the heat up a little bit more so I can go ahead and get this done here. Sorry about all the excess noise in the background, you all. So I'm just trying to make sure that this is all on here. Because just in case he decides to pull it off again, it kind of already has some things going on here. Okay, I'm like that about right there. All right, so now that I have the piece soldered onto there, we're gonna move on to the next step here. First thing I'm gonna do is turn off this. All right, so just like I said, I'm not an expert at this or anything. I'm just basically just, you know, toying around and just trying to make, and just trying to get this back working. So, my son can do his little experiments that he's been asking about. So from the looks of this one right here, it looks like I need to pull some of the excess cabling off or the, um, some of the sheathing off of this. I'm gonna try to do that really quick. I don't wanna use the iron to do that because I don't want to burn this cable. All right, we got a little bit of the cable exposed there. All right, so what we will do, we're going to take the ends here. I'm going to power my little battery pack on. Power that on. I'm gonna touch the ends of the cable. I'm gonna see if this right here comes on. Let's see. So as you can see, it does work. There, let me turn that around so you can see it. Cause some of you like to see the proof. So watch this right here. Just, just watch. Just one, and then, uh oh. Pull this back right here. See that? <laughs> All right. So we got that hooked back up. So, like I said, people, this is so so simple. Uh, some of you out there a little bit more advanced than me, but 
for me doing IT. I know a, a little something, but I'll leave that to you. Like, listen, subscribe to the channel. DivTech101, aka Black Mantle. Look forward to bringing more content to you soon.